Hi, welcome to Amana Contracting and Steel Buildings. Procedures and guidelines alone are not a guarantee that accidents and injuries will not happen. Your cooperation and commitment to health and safety are very important to make our workplace safe for all. Helping to achieve this, Amana appointed a competent and trained safety team to guide you and to ensure that our work environment is designed to be safe for everyone. Always remember, in Amana, safety comes first. Now, please pay attention to the following safety induction. On arrival at any of our sites, you will be required to report and register with our security office at the entrance. Please read all the signs and instructions put up at the site, both at the entrance and at various locations within the site area. This is extremely important, as different areas may have different requirements. All vehicles, contractors, staff and visitors entering the premises are required to follow these procedures. All drivers must obey the set speed limits. Parking zones on site offer reverse parking, meaning cars must face forward when parked. All visitors, contractors and employees have to undergo a safety induction. The general induction only allows you to enter and work unaccompanied in general areas at the Amana construction site and it does not allow you to do certain work or jobs for which you must have specific induction, training and authorization. On completion of the general induction, a signed sticker will be provided for sticking on your helmet. This will indicate the training you have completed. Visitors must be accompanied at all times by an inducted person. A minimum level of personal protective equipment, or PPE, is required for all people on site at any given time. The minimum PPE consists of steel toe cap safety boots, hard hat, high visibility vest and safety glasses. Additional PPE requirements may be required depending on the work performed. Never start an excavation without a permit from your supervisor. Warning signs and protective barricades must be placed around the excavations. Hard barricades are used to control vehicle movements near the edge. Read all the signs on site. They are meant to guide and help you. All buried utilities, such as electrical cables, must have warning signs. Walkways or bridges with standard guardrails shall be provided. At least two stairs, ladders or ramps on each side of excavation shall be provided. The excavated material should be placed at least one meter away from the edge of the excavation and shall not be piled higher than 1.5 meters. Excavation more than 1.2 meters deep must be shored, benched or sloped as shown in these pictures. Excavations must also undergo gas testing. This color code indicates that the ladder has been inspected and is safe for use. Always ensure that the ladder is safe by an additional visual check. Have a coworker hold the ladder while you are on it. Do not lean from the ladder in any direction. Do not allow others to work under a ladder in use. This is a no-no in our company. Disconnect all power tools from mains when performing maintenance or changing bits and discs. Wear proper PPE. Use the correct tools to do every job. There are proper ways to handle all tools in order to ensure your safety and ensure the equipment is safe to use. 
Do not remove the guard of the grinder and use a correct disc during grinding. Damaged tools may be tagged out of service and returned for repairs. Only certified and trained drivers are allowed to operate heavy equipment. Drive at acceptable limits and always turn on the warning lights when required. If you feel the activity is unsafe, do not continue but report the situation instead. Request for signal man while in motion, especially in congested areas. Ensure that the loads are not beyond the rated capacity and your machine is safely secured. All rigging work must be done only by certified riggers. All signal men must be certified too. Always use tag lines to control the load during lifting. Man lifts must be positioned on lower grounds and all obstructions cleared whenever it is required to move. It should also be clear of all power sources and cables. Use a signal man if necessary. Only certified operators are allowed to use the equipment. You must wear a safety harness. Care must be taken to ensure each machine's capacity and permitted parameters. Do not work at heights if there is no proper access, platform, edge protection and guardrail available. Provide lifeline or net if edge protection is not possible. It must be secured safely and free from any defect or damage. Always use safety harness and ensure 100% tied off. All scaffolding must be erected as per the specified standards. Ensure that the scaffolding has been inspected and tagged as safe to use. Roof work is considered to be very dangerous and has the highest record of fatalities in the construction industry. Proper safety harnesses and running cables must be installed before working on roofs. Make sure that the roof can support your weight. Skylights and roof openings to be marked and rigid protection to be installed. Roof edge barriers or scaffolds must be erected to prevent people and materials falling. Access ladders must be a safe distance above the stepping off point and must be secured. Some projects or activities might require the use of double lanyard full body harness. Always consult your site safety advisor for selection of the proper safety equipment. If you do not respect electricity, it can kill you. All electrical installations must be barricaded and signposted. This is an example of an accident waiting to happen. Do not use unsafe or faulty cables. Do not repair any faulty connection. Report it to electrician. Here is another accident waiting to happen. Loose clothing, thick gloves, no proper PPE. This is not allowed. This is the right way. Note the corrected protection for the eyes and face and the use of a push bar to protect the hands and fingers from harm. All chemicals, flammables and fuel containers must be stored in a designated area that is covered, protected and clearly sign marked. Employees must check regularly for leaks and ensure flammable and explosive materials are away from sources of heat and ignition. Storage must be within containment bunds capable of storing 110% of storage volume. Material specific MSDS to be provided. No matter what the accidents are, all accidents must be reported. In the event of spills or leaks, immediately call the safety officer. Spill kits are available at storage points and safety officers will be available for help. A valid permit to work must be obtained for all hot work, which includes welding and grinding. Keep the cylinders on a trolley while being used 
and avoid keeping it lying on the ground to avoid leakage of its content. Keep the cylinders in a vented area. Use the required personal protection for the activity. Ensure the working area is barricaded and cleared of all flammable materials. Follow all safety requirements the job demands. Working in a confined space calls for many precautions. Make sure all entrances and exits are prepared before starting work. Prior to entering the confined space, a trained supervisor or safety officer must check and certify that the air inside is safe and devoid of any toxic gases. A work permit shall be issued and signed by a qualified or trained person designated by the contractor as entry supervisor. He shall supervise all confined space procedures and activities. A trained person, attendant, shall permanently be at the entrance to the confined space to monitor activities of the entrance and to notice any hazards that may appear in the confined space. Mechanical ventilation shall be provided in a confined space by using air blowers. During the hot summer months, it is important to drink plenty of water during the day, even if you are not thirsty. Amana provides electrolytes to replenish your body system. Mix it with the water and drink generously. Your body needs it. If you are not careful, heat stress can strike unexpectedly, so never work alone. In case you suffer from any chronic disease or special medical conditions, like diabetes, blood pressure, epilepsy or seizures, inform your site supervisor or first aider at the site. Maintaining discipline at workplace. The workplace is not a place for jokes or fooling around. Cultural differences can cause misunderstandings and turn simple actions into serious unpleasant situations. Pay attention to your work and don't fool around. Never come to work under the influence of alcohol or drugs. In case of emergency, notify your superior immediately. If you notice any of your colleagues under the influence of alcohol or drugs, inform your site supervisor or safety officer immediately. In case of fire, sound alarm and or shout fire. Try and put out the fire with appliances provided. Do not put yourself at risk and tackle the fire only if you have been trained to do so. If you hear a fire or emergency alarm, leave the area immediately and report to the assembly points provided. Do not stop to collect personal belongings. Re-enter work area only when you are told to do so. Smoking is only allowed in designated areas. Good housekeeping increases efficiency, reduces the risk of accidents, and eliminates fire hazards. Simple steps can make a difference. Keep walkways clean and unobstructed. Store tools and materials where they cause no hazard to others. Remove all nails and screws from building materials that are being stored. It is also important to ensure that the waste storage is sufficient and emptied regularly. Segregate and reuse waste whenever possible. There are a number of bins available on site pertaining to different types of waste. Food waste, general waste, wooden waste, steel waste, hazardous waste, concrete waste. Make sure to segregate and dispose each type in its correct place. Amana provides various facilities on site for your safety, comfort and convenience. Use them. The secret to your safety is following all safety rules. Take no shortcuts. It is your health and life that is important to you and your family. We are particular about your welfare and want to be sure that when you go home after a day's work, you are going home safe and happy. Amana, where safety comes first. Yeah.